So today we are pruning the wisteria. I've got the wonderful Miles here from Chantry Green and he is an absolute expert when it comes to pruning, um, whether that's roses or wisteria or actually he's just an expert gardener. But today it is all about wisteria and so um, Miles is going to tell us a little bit about why and how um, and then we're going to show you how to do it. Hello. Um... So wisteria are actually quite easy to look after. Um, all you really need to do is make sure that it is pruned twice a year, once in the summer, sort of July, August after it's flowered, and once in the winter, January, February time, which will encourage um, better flowering um, and less of these sort of tenderly shoots that you tend to get, which uh, everyone often gets very worried about. Uh, this particular wisteria had quite a lot of renovation pruning done on it last year. Um, because it was very overgrown um, and as you can see a lot of these long tendrils here have been have been produced um, as a response to the hard pruning so we're going to take some of these back and to encourage it to produce some more flowers this year as you can see it's uh, it's all gone a little bit crazy here as the wisteria has been reaching out for the sky so we need to choose some of the best stems um, and cut back some of the side branches which will then encourage some of the uh, some extra flowers for next year. Um, if you can see the ones down here, it's a bit more simple. So, for example, this one. We've got this main sort of side branch, which we've trained in horizontally. And then coming off it is this long tendril here. Now, if we leave it, that will just carry on growing and probably do another six or seven feet this year. So what we want to do, in fact, if you can see just there, that's where we pruned it in, the, in about July. But because the summer was so good, it then went on to produce another four feet after that. So we're just going to cut this back to about two or three buds. So you've got one, two, three buds there, and you make the cut just above the bud. We'll do a close up for you as well in a moment. If you work your way along the stem, it doesn't have to be exact, maybe four buds, whatever you think looks nice and then we'll do the same down here as well okay so you can then see we've got these shorter stems side branches coming off the main stem and then hopefully these should produce some flowers this year uh, if not they'll definitely produce some next year so again, you can see, here's the stem which we're training along this wire, just here. And again, here's these side shoots coming off, but they're going all the way round to here and causing a, a bit of a mess. So see the buds, got one bud there, two, three. So we'll probably cut back to that one just there. Same buds just round here, there, there, and on this one back to that and that will then encourage some side branching um, and more flowers uh, for the following year and then all the excess just have to patiently unwind and trim it out and I'll do the same on this stem up here that one there there don't worry too much about the pruning if you happen to cut something off that you didn't mean to Wisteria is an incredibly strong, vigorous plant, so it will come back very easily. Um, and you just want to try and create a nice sort of open shape. These will probably send out big stems again this year, but we'll just get it back under control. If you do this, and then again, you do a similar prune in the summer, whereby you shorten, shorten these back to about this long, and then you reduce them back now in the winter but we can do a summer pruning video for you then. And also, when you're using the secateurs, yes. let me just show you. So try and get the, rather than cutting at the tip of the secateurs, try and get the secateurs all the way in. And and yes, that's a very, very good tip. There. Um, and it's a cleaner cut. Exactly. Okay. You want a nice clean cut because otherwise, uh, it can be, it can start to sort of get damaged and you can get rot set in. 
okay. it's always important to have a clean cut. Okay. So like that little stump there, yeah. I trim that off neatly as well. You don't have to, but it looks nicer as well when you're finished. Yeah. Okay. And then these bits. So again, trim. same thing. So trim them back down to about two or three buds. So probably that one I would. Same with that one. And then you should, that means we'll then get a nice, um, nice display of flowers down here. Maybe cutting slightly too much on the angle. Okay. So go for a slight, so you're cutting a little bit too acutely. Too much. So cut there. Yeah, like. that's it. Yep. Okay. Perfect. It's all about the angle. Mars is a very good teacher. Now, what about this bit, Mars? So this is running all the way up here. Yep. But untwist it's, that and cut untwist that back. it. Yeah, you don't really want it all the way up here. Again, we can take it back to two or three buds. You can tell. So that lighter wood yes, there is, is new the wood. newer wood and the dark wood is the old. So it's done all of that growth in uh, last year. Yep. So you can now probably just cut it there and that will again encourage it to flower. Okay, great. And we've got... The same with these and that one. Oops, sorry. No, that's fine. So about here? Yep. Okay. And what about this down here? Uh, that's oh. not, I mean, you could train that one in, but we've got masses of other stems. So, again, I take it back down to, to there. I mean, it's quite low for a flower. You could take it off completely. We'll see how it does. You can always remove them in future years. So, yes. again, this one is actually coming out. Yes. So you need to think whether actually we don't really you want, want that it here. Out. No, we don't. So, so take it back. You could actually take it back down to here, or you could take it off completely. But take it back to there to start off with. Again, you can always take it out in the future. And then probably that one to about there. That's it. That's a bit damaged there. So shall I take that right back, or just cut uh, that bit off? Maybe just trim that bit off. You have to be careful not to damage the main stem. No, I probably will have to use a bit. That's it. Okay, as you can see, the wisteria has gone a little bit mad up here and it's actually getting in behind the downpipe. Um, you really don't want that to happen because obviously as the stems get thicker, they're gonna get trapped behind there and the plants are actually strong enough to then start pulling the downpipe away from the wall and then you're gonna be in all sorts of trouble. So rather than just cutting it, just try and unwind it and see if you've got any useful stems that can be used elsewhere. Uh, so you can see there, mostly they're now in front of the downpipe so we can concentrate on where the best place is to prune them. And you basically follow the same routine as before. So this one we can bring around the corner. And if you think of that as being the main sort of stem, and these are the side shoots, and we're just gonna cut them back in the same way. Uh, that one I might leave a little bit longer. So these will be the ones that were turning to the flowering spurs, and this one we can train round. It's got a little bit of die back at the tip, so we might just trim it back to there and then we'll tie it in later on. Okay, so now we've trimmed up all of the um, side shoots along there, we're left with this very long spindly piece and we've got a choice. So we can either trim it back to here, just as we've done with all the others, but actually it'd be quite nice to get it to go all the way along to here to the window so what we now can do is roughly work out the length we're going to want. So it's going to be to about here. So we're going to prune back to that bud first, like that. And then as we go along, we can tie it in. So when you tie it around, the most important thing is that you don't just tie it like this because it can rub on the wire. So put your soft stretchy tie around and just do a simple knot. I've never been very good at knots, but that works well. 
that then provides a little cushion for the stem and then just whatever fancy knot you like something like that just hold it reasonably tight but not too tight I normally do a double knot like that and then you just do that all the way along every probably 18 inches or something you can see this one's got a bit of a kink in it but it will straighten out as it gets older just tie it all the way along now this stem will be horizontal it will start to produce some more of these upward shoots which we can then trim back just as we've done down there so you'll have flowers all the way along in two or three years time <laughs>